I wanted to make this video riding about, but the weather's crap at the moment and there's COVID lockdowns and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm also having audio trouble with my camera, so the audio's not very good when I ride. So I'm here with the bike in the workshop. I decided to make a video about what the best modifications for the bobber are, so I put a post on the Facebook page to find out other people's opinions. I got a variety of answers and some people actually said things like don't mess with near perfection and I can totally understand where they're coming from because when I first got my bobber black I, um, I was really happy with it and there was very very little on it which needed changing. There was a few things that annoyed me like the exhaust had a beautiful deep thudding note but it was just too quiet so that was one of the first things I did was I put the X-pipe on it and it was louder but the exhaust note wasn't quite as good until I changed the exhaust system and made an exhaust system for it which really made it sound cool and then along with the DNK tune works which is something I highly recommend it really opened it up and gave it a lot more poke and also with the DNK tune works it now revs to 7200 where it was only like 6000 and something before so that really is a worthwhile modification but many other people also mention exhaust as well and the DNK tune works one of the number one things on my list which I haven't done yet is the shock absorber because it's really too stiff for sort of comfortable you know riding around the bumpy roads we have here in Australia it's set up really good for drag racing how it is at the moment, that's why it's still on there. But that is what one of my priorities is to get a shock absorber, which also many people mentioned and mentioned that it actually transformed the bike, which I should imagine it would. I also did the I did an airbox to elite. I didn't really do that for performance because I don't think it makes hardly any difference to performance, but I did it for looks. So you've got this little bit here cleaned up and I made some wiring covers as well, which I've got a video about. I've actually got a larger rear sprocket on the back, which I did for drag racing to try and get it a little bit quicker. It certainly gets off the line a lot harder. I don't know if it's quicker overall. And through the twisty roads, it really pulls a lot harder. There's a lot more fun to ride. But that modification does have its drawbacks. It does seem to rev its nuts off a bit on the motorway. But I have got a nice new gold chain, which I really like. But the beauty of the bobber and why so many people like the bobber is because it's a great bike, but it's also a bike you can really personalize, you can customize it. Which is why I wanted to know what people's favorite modifications were. Quite a few people said that they changed the handlebars for eight hangers and put forward controls on and I can understand why for taller riders certainly I may do something like that in the future I'm not actually a taller rider but it does look like a lot of fun a few people mentioned the tank as well that is probably one of the biggest drawbacks of the bobber is the small tank especially when you start modifying it and making it go faster so it uses a lot more fuel but that's a pretty easy modification to sort that one out with a Speedmaster tank or something like that. No one actually mentioned paint. So I think paint is something which can really change a bike. Personally, I'd like to actually make this a little bit brighter because in the, it's great close up, but in the videos, it looks a little bit dull, especially the drag racing videos. So maybe some sort of paint job a little further down the line as well. I didn't really like the mudguards because it made it look a little bit too vintage for me so I've actually put a shorter one on the back and made a stubby one for the front. The back's not as short and small as I'd like to go but here in Queensland it's difficult to get away with things like that. I've also done little bits and pieces on it as well which aren't really modifications but they're making it personal to me. This is something which a lot of people like to do to their bobbers I've noticed. Quite a few people change the seat as well. I think people must find it uncomfortable. For me I think it's pretty comfortable but I don't have a fat ass. A few people change the wheels and tyres. Wheels probably for looks and maybe 
fatter tire for the back or whatever. Um, I've got a bobber black, so it's got a fat tire on the front. I really like the way the bike handles, so I don't really want to mess with the tires. I may try and get a stickier rear tire for drag racing, but as far as the size goes, it handles really nice around corners, and I don't really want to muck about with that. So future modifications for me, I'm certainly going to put camshafts in it at some point, and maybe a big ball kit. I'm also thinking about later on down the line, depending how things go, turbocharging or supercharging. I think supercharging is the expensive way to go, because a turbo system I can actually make myself. But I don't know. We'll see how things go. We're going to go with the flow and, and see how it ends up. To be honest, I didn't even realise I'd be doing this vlog or anything like this when I bought the bike. And I certainly didn't realise that I was going to be on a drag trip again. I personally enjoy modifying it and messing about with it just as much as I do riding it, which I'm sure a lot of people do, especially you unlucky people who don't ride in the winter. It goes in their garage and gets worked on. One of my favourite modifications, and also the simplest and definitely the cheapest, was the mirrors. Just flipping the stock mirrors upside down. It looks really cool, but more importantly, when you're filtering through traffic, when they're the normal way up, they're at the same height as car mirrors, and it's a real pain in the ass. So, flipping them down like this, you miss all the car mirrors. Oh, at the moment, I'm also researching rev counters and playing about getting a rev counter on here for drag racing because one in a dash is absolutely useless. So, I'm in the process of doing that and making a video about it as well. So, feel free to comment below about modifications you've done, modifications you'd like to see, or comment about anything really. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that.